Hi, Carl here for ProVTV, and today I'm going to be showing you how to update the firmware on the JVC HM200. We've had a lot of our customers ask us how to do this because JVC has just released a new version 2 firmware update, which gives you lots of exciting things like 120 frames per second recording and an updated color matrix, things like that. So it's a very worthwhile firmware update for you to do if you do own this camera. So if we jump across to the computer here, we're going to put a link in the description below this video to this web page here, which will allow you to update the firmware straight from here. If for whatever reason this link doesn't work, we're also going to include a link to this website, which is JVC's homepage for the Pro Europe division. And if you click here down here on creation, you then come up here to HM, search for HM200. That's the camera there. Click view product. Scroll down, go to downloads and support downloads. That'll give you this page. And down here is the download that we want, product software. You click on that that brings you back to the, where we started. So now this is the only one that's on here at the moment for you to download. So this will be whatever the latest firmware is. In this case, it's version 2.5. And so if we click on that, you get a little form which you need to fill in here with your name, your address, postcode, email address, which is very important, and serial number, which is also very important. You can find that on the bottom of the camera down here. So fill that in, click download, and you'll get an email sent to you with a link to download the file. And what you can download from that email is this folder here. And if we open that up, we've got a couple of things. We've got some legal information. We've got this document, which is a very, very useful document, which is some instructions as to how to update it. I really recommend that you read this and not just sort of take my word for how to do it in this video. Please do read this thoroughly because it, it is very important when you're updating firmware on the camera to make sure you get it right. And this, which is um, the private folder, which is what you're actually going to put on the SD card to take across to the camera. So you need an SD card like one of these. Any SD card that you would normally use with this camera will work just fine, but make sure that it is clean formatted before you do this process. So put it into your camera, format it within the camera, and then your card is ready to go. So if we put that into the computer, it'll load up here. If we open that up, we've got the private folder like normal because it was formatted in the camera. So all we want to do is we want to drag across the private folder from the folder which we downloaded from JVC on our computer across to the SD card. It'll say that a folder called private already exists here. Do you want to replace it? Click replace and it'll copy that across and then we are ready to go. Just like eject that, and we're ready to take it across to the camera. Okay, now we've got quite a simple process on the camera side of it. There's a few things that you need to check though. Firstly, that the, com that the power is off. Secondly, you need to have a battery in the camera. Thirdly, the camera power DC mains adapter needs to be plugged in. So the power camera needs to be powered via mains, but it also needs to have a battery inside and the power of the camera shouldn't be on. The camera should be off. So now with the camera off, this might be quite hard for you to see on the camera there, but you want to hold down Zebra 5 and Mode together. So you want to hold them down together like that, and then you want to turn the camera on while you're holding them down. So that's Zebra 5 and Mode. Hold those two together and turn the camera on, which I'll do now. Okay, so I just kept holding them there. And so now what you'll see has come up on the screen is a firmware update, the current version, and it's telling you to put your update media in slot B. So it's telling you what version you've currently got installed, and it, it, it wants you to put the SD card that we just, former, we just prepared on the computer into card slot B. For some reason, it can't use card slot A for firmware updates. It will only use card slot B. So in we go, close the door, and just automatically it will carry on doing its business. So firmware update, please wait. We've got a flashing light on B there saying that it is reading. Updating, don't turn the power off. It's very important that the camera doesn't lose power, otherwise you could damage your camera if it loses power during this process. So please make sure that you don't pull out this 
power cord. Okay, there we go, firmware update complete and it's flashing green on both sides there. So now all you need to do is you need to remove the SD card, like such, and turn the camera off. So now, once you've turned the camera off, detach the power cord and the battery like that. Then plug them back in. And power up the camera again. Okay, so I've just turned the camera back on. It's wanting me to diagnose. If I click diagnose, like that. And let it do its business. Okay, so that diagnosing process took a little while, but it's just finished. And it's come up with this window here that says complete diagnosis, close. So I'm gonna click close and see what happens. Okay, there we go. So I've got a working camera again, just with a, a very dark exposure. So if I come into menu and I do the same thing before I go up to system and then system information, and it tells me which version of the software I've got. I've now got version 205, so 2.5 software installed on this camera. Okay, so the last thing that JVC recommend that you do is to do a system reset of your camera after you've installed this, just to wipe the slate clean and make sure that everything is as it should be. So if you go into the main menu here, you go to system, you go down a bit, and down a bit, down a bit, down a bit, down a bit, to the reset all option. Click that, reset all items, and reset. So that is just gonna completely wipe the camera back to how it was when you got it out of the box, when you first bought the camera, and it'll be there ready to use with the new version two firmware. Okay, so now that we've updated the camera, let's have a look at what it can do. We're gonna put a full list of all the updates added in this firmware into the description below. So make sure you check that out if you wanna know everything that's been added in this firmware. But that main attraction is definitely the 120 frames a second slow motion. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the updated firmware out and about. I'm going to get some slow-mo shots for you to look at to finish off this video. But in the meantime, if you found the video useful, please do like it and subscribe to the channel for more.